Male models are not a terribly easy group of people to feel sorry for, but as you're about to see, many fresh faces find modeling to be a surprisingly unglamorous and unprofitable job. We welcome Pedro Andrade now from our sister network, Fusion, with this report for Nylon. What do we got going on today? Sure you. Yeah. <laughs> the glamorous life of a male model. That's what 23-year-old Cameron Keesley dreamed of. One, two, three, nice, yes. It would be quick, easy money. You know, I'd be making, you know, thousands upon thousands of dollars for, you know, not doing anything. Cameron was branded a new face to watch by Models.com. His look even getting Snoop Dogg's attention on Instagram. Despite the attention from the modeling circle, he found himself $10,000 in debt and not making enough money to pay it off. I haven't made a single penny. I'm in debt all over the world right now, but the only thing I've gained is life experience. This is the reality for men who dream of modeling, an industry dominated by women. Giselle Bündchen, formerly Victoria's Secret's top angel, is the highest paid model in the world according to Forbes magazine, earning $44 million. And right behind her is Victoria's Secret formerly second top angel, Doutson Crew, earning $8 million. While the highest paid male model is making way less, Sean O'Pry only made $1.5 million. And coming in at number two, the face of Dolce Gabbana, David Gandy, making $1.4 million. The reason? Kate Krause, an agent in New York City, tells us it's simple economics. I mean, personally, I think that the fashion industry is of a high demand. There's much more catalogues, e-commerce sites, mm -hmm. websites, clothing companies. And I think that the female model has a bigger stature mm -hmm. than the male model. The truth is, life as a male model is far from a dream. I know because I used to be one. As a teenager, I was discovered near the beaches of Rio. I went from Brazil to Europe, Asia, and finally, New York City. There were plenty of struggles, believe me, but I was extremely lucky. But some are not. When Cameron moved to New York, he moved to this apartment with other aspiring models. This place cost Cameron $1,200 a month. I was pretty happy with the model's apartment, you know, but then again, I'm happy with, you know, a roof over my head and a warm place to sleep. He couldn't afford the rent, so his agency picked up the bill. You're advancing them their plane ticket. In many cases, you're advancing their visa, their accommodations, their food money, and giving them an allowance. So if the model doesn't start to work, they then start to build up a debt. Within the first three months, their debt could be, you know, $8,000 to $20,000 easily. Is your life here less glamorous than you expected it to be? I would have to say yes, um, just because I had the misconceptions already set in my mind about the male modeling industry and New York in and of itself. Cameron took yeah. us to where he grew up in Barrow County, Georgia. He lived in this trailer park with his sisters and his mom. Six people? Six people and five cats and a dog. So you grew up in this one right here? Yeah, this trailer right here. We've still got the potholes in the same spots. Like. Yeah, it's crazy being back here. His life in New York is much different. Cameron takes us to the place where he did a shoot for Vogue Italia. So what was that phone call like? Cameron, you just got the cover of Vogue Italy. <laughs> it, it honestly really blew my mind. I never would have expected to get a call like that. Cameron was paid nothing at all from what was probably one of his biggest jobs ever. His agent tells us this is not unusual. Cameron's now in the stage of his career where he's seeing the biggest people in the industry, the biggest people in the industry have responded to him, and what we hope to do from that is the advertising. To find the real money, you have to turn the page to ad campaigns where models can make up to $150,000 for one day shoot. Clark Bachelman is one of the few male models who have made it. He's the current face of Calvin Klein. What does that mean, to be the face of one of the most iconic brands in the world? People at home say it's like, oh, it's your modeling underwear? You know, they think of the underwear packaging because I, I feel like you see that everywhere. But he is everywhere, walking in the runway shows and on the biggest billboard in New York City. Not long ago, Clark was just another student at the University of Denver. Fashion was the last thing on his mind. Then it all changed one day as he was walking around New York City. Some guy he just yells at me from across the street. He's like, hey, stop. <laughs> Runs through traffic and he comes over and he's like, are you a model? Turned out he was a casting director for the men's shows for Calvin Klein. See, that's great. That's great. 
That same kind of luck happened to 19-year-old NYU student Max King while enjoying a music festival. What were you wearing? Probably this. Probably like just shorts and a... <laughs> I don't dress that well, you know. How surprised were you? I was fairly surprised. Definitely to get like approached. I never thought of myself as like a model, you know what I mean? It's never been something I identified as. When you think of a model, what goes through your mind? Um, the life of a model. This girl. Okay. Max was discovered by model scout Kate Krause. She explains to us what she looks for. Someone who's tall, mm -hmm. over six foot to six foot three, good features, good jawline, good cheekbones, good hairline. Max might meet the criteria, but Kate says he still has to lose a little weight. As for Cameron, he wants to save money and help his mom, so he moved back to Georgia to live at home. But he isn't ready to give it all up yet. When it comes to the money aspect of it, I'm more so after the money to be able to help um, pay off my mom's house and help them with bills and stuff because she's just been working for way too long, way too hard. So I want to be able to take care of her for a change. That's great. For Nightline, I'm Pedro Andrade in New York. <laughs> Let's see. Our thanks to Pedro. And to see the complete program, Unglamorous, the naked truth about male models, you can go to fusion.net slash unglamorous.